Hello again, everybody. This is Comic Book Hangover, and it is time once again for my weekly haul, weekly review video. Uh, I've also got um, an announcement that will be coming up after we talk about some of the books that I picked up last week. So why don't we just get to it, right? Um, really, I mean, for the first one that's on the top of the stack is Something is Killing the Children. There's really not much more that can be said about this book. It's still an amazing book. It's a lot of fun to read. Great stuff. I mean, all the way around. I mean, there's really, really not much more I can say about it with it being uh, 18 issues into its run, you know. Uh, so for a fairly new series, Robin, I love this cover. First of all, I, I like the um, um, the minimal use of color in this cover. I think it's I think it's awesome. So that aside, it's still. This one, I got to say, is a, it's a little confusing because there's, there's a part in here where, you know, Robin is no longer on the island. He's, I'm assuming, he, he's in another city with, you know, some of the other other uh, members of the Bat family. They don't really do the transition that well. But that aside, it's still a great read. I'm really enjoying this Robin series and cannot wait to see where we're going with this. Um, after this, you know, you always have the, the initial storyline for these characters, for these books. And then you're, you know, they're building it up and it's been really great. But then you start to wonder, it's like, well, what, what happens after the story's over with? And where do we go from here? That's where I'm at right now already with this series. I want to know where it's going to go after this Lazarus Island storyline wraps up. Uh, there's also, for what it's worth, a really interesting interaction between him and Ra's al Ghul in this, in this issue. Uh, so if you're, if, if you're a fan of Ra's al Ghul, this is definitely a, bo a book to pick up. It's a really like I said, a really interesting interaction between those two characters. A lot of fun. Uh, the next one is, and I think this is going to actually be the last one, Barbaric number two. Now, I picked up the first issue. I really was, um, I, I honestly, I was kind of on the fence about picking up the second issue. I did, and I'm kind of glad I did. I don't know if this is an ongoing series or a mini series or what, but this is so much fun. This is such a good, fun series. I mean, we got this Barbarian who's cursed to always do the right thing. And the, pr the the problem that he has is, number one, he's a barbarian, and barbarians aren't used to doing the right thing. They're just used to doing their thing. But he says in this book that, that probably the biggest issue that he has is the definition of what is the right thing. Because what it may be the right thing for one person in, the, in a situation you know, if he's got two people in a situation, what might be the right thing to do might be the wrong thing to do for one of the two people. So where do you go from there? You know, usually his his um, his response is to just kill everybody, which is fine. Uh, he has this really cool battle axe there. And the battle axe is sentient. It's sort of like if you're if uh, if any if you're familiar with Chaos Comics and the original Evil Ernie, not the slightly irritated Ernie that uh, Dynamite does now, but the original Evil Ernie. Smiley the Psychotic Button. That's who this character reminds me of, is Smiley the Psychotic Button, because he's got a really interesting personality. Probably the funnest quirk about him, though, is when he's being used to decapitate and disembowel and, and just, just just destroy bodies, it's being covered in blood, of course. It gets drunk off of the blood, which it's <laughs> it's, it's a lot of fun. But this is an, it's, it's, it's a nice, it's a, it's a violent book. It's really not uh, like the dialogue is not period specific, but it's fun. You know, it's not meant to be historically accurate. It's not meant to be a history lesson. It's meant for fun, and fun is what this is. So, and, and actually, you know, I, I guess if you're if you're a fan of old school, maybe e Evil Ernie and uh, Smiley Psychotic Button, check this out. This it's it's a lot of fun. I I, I cannot recommend that one enough. And the last one I picked up uh, actually came out. Uh, a week or two ago, and that is, is this, this is Mighty Morphin number nine, and this is the Virgin variant cover. Like I said, I got, I got the regular cover so I could read the book and just loved it and got the Virgin variant. It is gorgeous. I love it. And that's it. That's what I got from last week. Um, now for my, my announcements here, that's what we're going to do right here. Uh, first of all, full run Friday. Uh, Full Run Friday is going to be tomorrow. Uh, it's going to go live at 3 p.m. as they, as always, try to keep them doing. And so far, I've, I've had, for the most part, luck doing that. And I decided that since last week I did Dark Hawk, one of my my, my favorite uh, 90s characters, I figured this week we're going to kind of keep in that vein. And this week it's it's 
probably going to be a short video like like last one's was. But this week I'm going to do Sleepwalker. So I really like that character as well. He's another one of those original characters from the 90s that I got into and have, have enjoyed him. And I've actually reread that series a couple of times because it's just so much fun. So tomorrow we're going to be going through my Sleepwalker collection. And um, I don't think there's really a whole lot of peripheral stuff that he was in, but I've got the full run. So we're going to talk about the full run of Sleepwalker. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is, and I know I've mentioned this in the last couple of videos, is going to be my, my new series. Um, so starting not this coming Monday, because I'm, I'm very busy this week, but next Monday. So it's going to be, what, the 16th, I want to say. I could be wrong, but a week from this coming Monday, I'm going to be starting a new series, and it's basically just going to be a, a, a more in-depth review. So I've got my full run Fridays, where I'm just kind of flipping through my books, flipping through my back issues, my full runs. Uh, I, I, I have a lot of mini series in my collection and a lot of them I haven't read for years. Um, some of them are recent and I would like to reread them again. So I decided that my, my new series is going to be um, Monday minis or mini Mondays. I haven't decided on, on, on how I'm going to word that yet. If you, if you guys watching, if you have a preference between Monday minis or mini Mondays, uh, let me know. And, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll see who has the, uh, the most preference, which one has the most, uh, votes i guess i don't know and we'll go with that but it's basically i'm going to be rereading some of my favorite and non-favorite miniseries because you know sometimes you you have a miniseries that's really good and then you read it years later and you're like what the hell was i thinking when i bought this so we're going to go through that all that so it's going to be just a mix of stuff so i got miniseries all over the place i might even read you know do some of the stuff like like uh so my lobo miniseries just because you know so it'll be you know, more lobo stuff on my channel or whatever um, I haven't decided what my first mini series is going to be. Um, I am leaning towards one in particular because it's sort of, um, as far as my collection goes, it's sort of historic. So, uh, that'll be starting a week from this coming Monday. So we've got this Monday and then the following Monday is when it's going to be starting. So it's either going to be Monday minis or mini Mondays. I haven't decided yet. So that's that. And of course, before we continue with what I picked up this week, let's, you know, once again, sauce this out there. Go ahead and like the video if you if you're enjoying what I'm doing and you like, like the little stuff that I do on the side here. Um, you know, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, hit that notification button, do all that fun stuff. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, I do kind of want to get my like counts up just to see you know what happens and where it goes. So that said, let's talk about real quick the books that I picked up this week. Uh, I think I got everything that I wanted. So, and there's, there's, they're kind of mixed up, but Stillwater number nine, nice cover there. I really like this series. I'm hoping that it continues to be a lot of fun. Geiger number five. Out of all the covers they put out this week, this was the one that I really liked. And actually, I think this is another one of those that my little boy helped me pick out. And Elvira meets Vincent Price. Normally, I don't get uh, photo covers, but I found out that this was a photo cover that this is a photo that she had done specific specifically more recently i don't know if it was specifically for this book but it was a more recent one so you know more recent picture of the mistress of the dark i would like to have that in my collection so i grabbed that uh because i'm a big fan of cullen bunn and his his horror writing lucky devil i think this is yeah dark horse comics lucky devil and basilisk number three another really cool cover and I think this is wrapping this one up. Jenny Zero, number four. I think I'm pretty sure this is the last one. And because I, I can't get away from variant covers, Elvira meets Vincent Price. Got that variant cover. My first, the first week of the month is such a big week for me. The Nice House on the Lake, number three of 12. And finally, for the books that I was buying for myself, uh, Invaders in Quarterly, the Dookie Loop horror uh, now this wraps up uh, as far as ani press goes this wraps up invader zim so this is it this is the last story uh they may or may not do any more in the future but as far as it goes this is basically our final issue this is the end so i'm really curious to see how it wraps up and just because i i want to putting it in my uh my stack my wife is a fan of the nightmare before christmas so tokyo pop put out nightmare before christmas uh mirror moon number one don't know what it is. Never heard of it. I don't really pay attention to these books at all, but she likes them, so I grabbed it for her. What the heck? Why not? She's got a long box here of stuff that she mostly hasn't read, but it is what it is. Anyway, that's it. That's what I got this week. Everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, my battery's about ready to die, so I do have to wrap this up. 
Um, as always, and again, like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that notification button, do all that fun stuff. I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it more than you know. And of course, Friday, I'm going to have my, tomorrow, I'm going to have my uh, full run Friday, which will be Sleepwalker this week. And then a week from this Monday is the debut of my new series, Monday Minis or Mini Mondays. I, I'm kind of leaning toward Mini Mondays. That kind of rolls off the tongue a little bit easier. But anyway, let me know if you if you have any uh, opinion either way. Let me know. I greatly appreciate it. We'll see everybody tomorrow with Full Run Friday Sleepwalker. And yeah, have a good night. Enjoy your new comic books. I'll see you guys later.